हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एक्सेल डैश टैली सॉफ्टवेयर एक्सेल डैश टैली सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोवाइड्स यू बेस्ट एक्सेल टू टैली इंटीग्रेशन इट हैज नो मंथली कॉस्ट जस्ट पे फंड्स यूज लाइक इन फीचर्स यू कैन विजिट आवर वेबसाइट ऑन डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट एक्सेल डैश टैली डॉट कॉम फॉर ऑल द फर्दर डिटेल्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू इम्पोर्ट सेल्स विदाउट इन्वेंट्री डेटा यूजिंग एक्सेल डैश टैली सॉफ्टवेयर go to the folder here you can see we have a application we need to open the application now while opening the application you should keep in mind to open your tally simultaneously i have selected a company in tally when you click on the company drop down you get that company open here the software is connected to tally select the company now we will prepare the sheet here there is sales template open it you will get sales without inventory template we need to import our data in this template if you have any junk data present here we have given a button zero clear sheet click on zero clear sheet all the data present here will be removed till the last next step you need to go with open your file select your data from here Now when i open the data it opens here at the back end you can see first row has all the headings and my data starts from the second row go to the template select the sheet here sheets are present in your excel now we will be putting the end row and the start row by seeing it in your excel two will be my start row and 12 will be my end row you need to keep these rows complete here next step is to start mapping when i click on start mapping all my headings get mapped on the four, fifth row according to the fourth row headings if the spellings of both the rows match they automatically appear here or else you have a drop down feature you can even select your headings from this drop down or else you can double click on the fifth row and search for your details here as i have buyer's name i can double click on it it will be selected after the mapping process i need to click on import data all the data that i have selected is imported here now comes the gst section here i have i, I don't have any gst number so i'll be given unregistered if there is gst number the software automatically accepts regular format i will be giving the place of supply once this is done we will go with the gsts now my sgst cgst igst nothing is calculated here to calculate this we have a create gst ledger option your ledgers will be calculated according to your gst rates and the place of supply present here you need to click on create gst ledgers put your company state your state code which is 27 for maharashtra next is all the details about the gst ledgers you can go with the help of these ledgers i'll click on create ledgers so my ledgers according to the state and the rates will be created here besides this if you have any additional data you can go for opening other ledgers here we have given different options of order transport consignee dispatch narration and cost center multi currency you can open all these options here going with the consignee details dispatch details order details everything will be open we have provided 25 plus extra ledgers to import your additional data here you can even go with the narish once my data is complete i'll save the file now comes the connect with tally option 
when I click on connect with Tally, my company gets connected to Tally uh, software. Here, you can see all your ledgers in sheet 4. The ledgers that are already present in Tally will be seen here. When you click on match ledgers with Tally, your ledgers get verified with sheet 4, all the Tally ledgers. So, whatever comes in blue is already created in Tally. Others are in red which means these ledgers will be auto-created through the software with these specific details mentioned here. Once this is done, we will go with the software. Now, while opening the software, as this is my new company, I will be clicking on default ledgers to create all the default ledgers which has sales, purchase and duties and taxes in. 91 ledgers are created through the software. You can see all these ledgers by clicking on connect with tally. In sheet 4, all the ledgers will appear. We will be importing our data now. We have sales without inventory feature present here. We just need to click on it. Select the path of our file and click on open. We have given alter option to alter your ledgers, your details. We have given validate option to check which ledgers will be created, which items will be created. I will be running my sheet now by clicking on yes. My ledgers are auto created through the software and my entries are done. Let's check the entries and tally. These are the entries done by us. All the details that we mentioned here have come. Now, if I feel there is any mistake in my data, we have given an undo option in the software. You just need to click on undo button. All the entries from that tally will be deleted. Once you get what changes you need to make, you just have to change those details. As I have given narration, I will be removing the narration. Saving the file, going to the software and importing the data again. Data will be imported with all the details mentioned again. Narration is gone. So my entries are done successfully. Now let's go to the Excel template. Here as I have matched my ledgers, I click on connect with tally again. So whatever ledgers were not, not matched, they will be also created in tally. I'll click on match ledgers with tally. You can see all my ledgers are in blue now, which means these ledgers are already created in tally now. You can even search for ledgers by double clicking on the ledger. All the ledgers that are present in tally will be appearing here. You can select the ledger as well. So, the process is done successfully. Thanks for watching the video.